Hello, this is Richard Wilson coming to you from Mumbai, India. I'm CEO of the Family Office Club, and this is a Monday Mandate Update. Uh, today I'm going to update you on some challenges I've had with winning over a few single family office clients lately. Uh, if you follow our work closely, we talk a lot about combining operating businesses using a platform uh, business strategy, almost like a private equity fund would, but doing that for single family offices or for your own business if you're trying to perhaps raise capital. Um, or manage a real estate investment firm or fund of some type. And I think that one thing that goes hand in hand with that is being able to operate multiple entities and cross sell clients between them, upsell, and bring people across your platform and work with them in different ways. And I just wanna talk about a challenge I'm facing with four potential clients. These are four different single family offices I'm speaking to. One is just under a billion dollars and the smallest one is about $200 million. And with each one, they've experienced our brand either at the family office club level or the, our book, How to Start a Family Office. And they have perceived us as one thing while we try to grow the relationship in a different direction or in a higher, you know, at a higher level. And it's been challenging not being locked in a box sometimes in these relationships. Many times, if someone gets to know you for your knowledge on how to start a family office, Helping them with then deal flow or direct investment deal flow improvement is kind of a whole nother box, a whole nother sales process. Of course, now we have the relationship. It's a lot easier, easier than not having the relationship. But the challenge I'm finding is that if you're not careful, you don't build a really strong bridge between the knowledge of or being put in the box of how to start a family office versus helping a family with their direct investment deal flow and why they might need help with that, then it can get lost. If you're not careful, it looks like you're just trying to jump from one opportunity to the next in the relationship haphazardly, and they might not know that that was the whole plan while serving them in the first way. And I think that wearing it on the sleeve kind of shows transparency and also makes it more clear and kind of sets them up for a upsell later and working with you in another way. And I think what I'm trying to avoid is just friction between selling them on one thing and then having to start the whole sales process over again as soon as they've started to receive value in that first area. So I think this is just uh, part of the learning curve and smoothing out of the process of converting clients in one part of the business to another. I'm sure many of you face this exact same challenge if you have a brokerage business and then also an investment brokerage or an investment fund or investment sponsor business. Um, but I thought just kind of sharing sharing this and what we're doing to get past that that friction might be helpful to some of you who are you know doing the same type of strategy as us. The best thing we've learned so far is, like I said, just be transparent, disclose our larger intent and our our long term intent of doing bigger business with him. And many times, as I've said in other recordings and in our books, business families, centimillionaires, and billionaires want to work with smart business people and they appreciate that there's a larger game going on rather than look down on you on it. They have greater respect for you as a business person rather than think, oh yeah, you're just a service provider and that's your end game is just being the service provider. So that's our biggest insight on navigating this to date. But I just want to share that as kind of a, a frustration among our potential mandates we're trying to win. Um, that's what's kind of consuming some of my energy this week, just trying to you know, court these four or five different families and get one or two to the finish line you know, here in 2016 so we can add them to our roster of uh, single family office clients we represent. We currently have uh, 14 clients under contract, four which are more heavily engaged under retainer, so we've been spending most of our energy on them, of course. So this is uh, Richard Wilson coming to you from India today. Hope you enjoy this Monday Mandate update, and we'll talk to you next week. Take care.